stop right now this next exit on 223rd off the 110 hopefully this new chest mount works pretty good um i'm not quite sure what we have the description was a bit weird from my understanding it's a container that broke off a chassis 20,000 pound 20 footer uh but those little 20 footers can be ridiculously heavy so we'll see i might have to just pick it up and put it on a new chassis if uh, the description was right well, we should be pulling up in about a few minutes i'm in hulk right now fully stock got a bunch of new gear hopefully i get to use it nope that's not my exit one more then i'll get back to you guys once i'm pulling up on steam and see what we got okay well this is exactly what i thought it it broke apart from uh there you can see the logs broken in the lines and blocking traffic so my game plan is pretty simple actually it's just a container lift i'll be picking this thing up and i'm gonna have this guy drive forward unfortunately he's gonna be dragging but there's no other way to do it once he drives forward they got the good uh tractor and chassis he's gonna back up underneath i set it down then i'm most likely gonna have to put this on on a lando what happened you need to uh, watch the road sir oh man they really put the pressure on me hey man thank you i appreciate it i gotta work quick gotta make them happy oh, yeah i know he's enforcing that white privilege <laughs> <laughs> So unfortunately this guy broke down right in front of these people's yard And they're not happy understandably, but it's an accident And unfortunately i'm getting the the butt of it because my truck's blocking So I told them Um, I can be done before their trucks start backing into their yard, which he said is one hour So in one hour i'm gonna go ahead and uh pick up the container do the swap And then get this thing out of the way in the meantime, I'm calling my Lando to transport this uh, broken chassis. Borderline of Torrance off the 110 freeway. It is hot. Hopefully people respect my cones. There's PD. rushing to keep these construction people happy but you get a job like this and now i'm the bad guy because i'm blocking the driveway well i'm here for this bro just stay here all day if i don't get this done quick so i'm not working against you I have a little patience for the tow guy i'm gonna use my 10 foot straps my loops these things are good for like 22,000 in a vertical each always over rig so my big boy shackles and then i'm going to use my container links on each pocket <sighs> wow. all right Woo. you know what let me throw these up there just for now and then i'll climb up there i already got my ladder set up pretty much all my equipment is good to go Now it's good to go. I love this ladder. Woo. Nice and sunny day. 
mad dog how ironic they are mad dogs but i don't blame them you guys got a job to do Halfway done up here. Just show you guys what I did. 10 footers, container links. These are my new web shackle ones, specifically designed for slings. I love them. Thank you, Sean Van Lingen, for the recommendation. Now, this part. All right, I'm moving in record time. The perks of being young and fit. Now, let's start tightening up. get my center of balance well, you know what it doesn't matter if I'm too center right there baby yeah I need to get down uh. okay now take off all the locks all of them are off? Double check. Double check, please. Good. Now I can get down. I did my part. Now I'm waiting on them. Hey, just to let you know, man, I did my part. I'm ready to go. Now that company's saying 20 minutes for their good chassis. Well, wait for I, I thought it was down. They said it was down the street. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Right? I told them what. Look, I can do about that. Anything I can do to help, let me know. Well, I'm ready, bro. Look, I got it off. I got you. I got you. Uh, 20 minutes, man. Maybe less. Maybe less. Maybe 10. Not that far. He's on PCA, so. Well, I got all the time in the world. It's them, you know, the company. That's wanted, putting all the pressure. You want it to pull in, though. You want it to pull in this way? Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, he's gonna. He's coming from here, right? I can tell him to come. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Come down Normandy and just come straight. Yeah. What he can do is go through the intersection and back up underneath. Okay. Because zigzagging in through here is probably gonna be too much yeah. of a pain. Get out of your way with this one. 
In the meantime, can you have that guy, the driver of the tractor? Yeah. I want him to pull forward and out of the way. Okay. Daniel! Can you tell him exactly how? As long as he's... How about this? How about directly in back of my truck? So if he goes to the left... You gonna pull it? Uh, what I need you to do, bro, is... um. I need you out of the way, quite, quite frankly, but let's see where right. we can put you. <clears throat> Would it be too hard to make a right? Whatever it is, man. Because that good chassis, that one's, I don't want him to zigzag in through all this. What I want him to do is come around here, uh -huh. where the light is through the intersection, and just back up straight. Gotcha. So I need I need all this room clear. Okay. Pull to the side, take a right. Because there's not enough room to get behind me, is there? To get what? To get behind me. Yeah, you'll be blocking that lane right there. I don't want to like, I, I just don't want to push forward and back too much in that. Kind of that that's empty though, so that's that's a good thing. That's a plus, yeah, I agree. You're only gonna be dragging on the outriggers a bit. It's just it is what it is. Yeah, I understand. All right, that. so. Want to pull straight or just take a right? Make a right. Okay. Okay, almost there right now. You're clear. clear. You want to make sure we're clear? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I mean, right. I'm, you're just like, back. Thanks, man. Sorry about this. Okay. Hey, uh, what about the other trailer? It's on his way. Wow. So I got him out of the way. And instead of making that right, I said that's enough damage. He's good there. Let me drop my blue cable so I can even this thing out. I'm gonna just have that other track the chassis come from here. I'm gonna boom all the way up so I'm tucked in and he can he can get straight behind that chassis. Hopefully it'll be enough. I rush for nothing, man. I got this thing up in record time. And the company doesn't even have a good chassis yet. But man, I love my rigging. I love having all the top of the line equipment. Those rim slings I get from uh, Bailey's towing accessories. Same with all those shiny new web shackles for the containers. Rated at like 30,000 something each. So in reality, I got a little over 120,000 pounds of uh, working aluminum in between the shackles and about 85,000 pounds between all the straps. So well, well, well within my working load limit. So we're gonna boom up. Just right there and rotate so to get it super center I just rotate a little bit excellent straight as an arrow let me drop the blue a little bit more so it's perfectly dead even Again, I'm gonna go all the way up so the container is gonna be very close to my body of the truck, right here. This guy's gonna zigzag in through here. And my goal is to have his tractor be behind this guy. Just perfect enough so where I can drop it on him without it moving forward, then I'll take care of that chassis. You're strong. The beauty is the more I go up, the stronger I get. Now if I really want to keep it safe, I would rotate just a tiny bit clock counterclockwise. Cause it looks like it's a little uneven but i'm comfortable here i always got to be fully in control rotate 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 see perfect now i can go in with my cables about five feet once the guy gets here 
so I'll stop it until that happens. Chassis is here, ready to back up. Now remember, he doesn't have to get it perfect because I can rotate, let out with each cable. I just need him under. As close as he can and I'll take care of the rest. He's good. He can keep backing up. Have him go to the right. No, he's good. He's, he's doing good. No, he's, he's got to go. Have him go forward to the left. The straighter, the better. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This guy's scaring me. He's actually a pretty good driver. Yeah, that's real, man. Let me try it. It's not ideal. This is always my favorite part. You can get one of them down, you can lock it in. All right, let it stabilize and I'm gonna start rotating. No, I don't need them. Backside. Go up on the blue. Extend out. Down with the boom. One more time. Up with the blue. Extend out of there. Beautiful. Start locking them off. And then when you're done, just do one more double check. Sometimes they get, you know, unstuck. <clears throat> well, that was quick work. Excellent job, Hulk. Make sure he stays. I got to jump up top and disconnect, okay? I did a triple check myself on the locks. They're great. Time to put the truck away. Oh man. That was a fun little job. I'm glad it was just a 20 footer too, but I felt that weight. I always say that. All the 20 footers I do are, are heavier than the 40 footers. Alright, I never really like to include the
to put in a way part, but I'll get back once my Lambo gets here and I'm uh, lifting up the, tra the chassis. Finish the rigging. I'm gonna have this guy disconnect his fifth wheel right now. It's a weird rig I did. I kept everything up top and just said, nah, screw it, let's, let's run with it. It's an empty half chassis, so there's relatively, I mean, no weight compared to Hulk strength. It should be fine. Clicking on this. Clicking on this. Are you able to disconnect or is there too much pressure? I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Try it. Try it. You're good to go. Goodbye. I got it. You're disconnected? You're all good. All right. Stand clear. I'm going to pop them out. Disconnected. Okay. Uh, am I gonna follow you back to the yard? Ask him. He's the guy that I talk to. Cause you can you can take off already. I'm done with the tractor. He can take off. Yeah, take, it, take it back to the yard, please. Let me call my landlord to make sure you can back up from the side. are so versatile now, normally i don't do this uh but again grade 100 half inch chain i'm only picking up a half empty chassis and instead of using my grab frame hooks the founder is getting all that stuff out i just use the rigging from the container and it works amazing all right so let me start lifting up as I lift up, it's gonna to wanna to swing. And then it'll straighten out as they get closer to uh, 90 degrees. Good man. You probably thought I was gonna be there all day. Yeah. I just didn't like the way he came at me like it was my fault. And then I was like, yeah, you know what? I understand. I get it too, but I know I can do this and I know I'm good. They probably don't know, you know, what it entails and how long it's gonna be blocking. But they gotta have more patience too, yeah, man. Like, okay. It's like if one of them got in an accident and then someone starts yelling at them. Yeah, it's like it's your fault. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, let me take care of the problem first. I just explained to them, I told them I'm young, I'm fast, I'll get this done like that, man, don't worry about it, they were cool. And we are 90 degrees. It is straight. Probably gonna go higher. Now this one I can go high enough to where my Lando can just drive straight under without hitting. So to do that, I'm letting out on the, the blue and the white cable. 
simultaneously while extending out that almost will keep it in, in place that will allow me to uh, pull them up really high and extend out further in fact let me start getting those cables wrapped up and there's my landau this is our brand new 2020 Landau. We got four now in the company. God, that thing is gorgeous. Take pride in your ride, baby. Joe! I want the front of it all the way on the deck because I gotta get that part too. Okay, you can take that box off. Oh, just back up underneath as much as you can. That won't stop. I want the landing gear to touch the front. Why don't you stop it there? I'm gonna swing the chassis away so you can, so you can take the box off. take that little box off I want it so uh, the landing gears as close to here as possible without scratching the paint of course because I still need that thing to go right here chassis is set Bring in my cables, rotate in the back, and drive forward. We'll get that last piece. We dropped the landing gear to uh, give it that edge so it doesn't hit the front. And luckily it's only going, I think, like a quarter of a mile. They said it was just straight down around the block. And then we're done with this. traffic I'm gonna get it from that side I'm gonna be by the curb you're gonna pull it that way oh yeah I'm gonna go straight and pull in front of that truck and you'll just back up there that'll keep all this stuff open okay nah traffic open more okay cool thanks I'll start doing that right now see I made them my friends good attitude goes a long way step one is understand their frustration and then let them know that you're not here to mess around that's good enough all right let's do this Close this toolbox door. I sure jacked my outriggers to compensate for the land also. We're not in too much of the other lane. Right there's good. We'll pick up at the axles. Absolutely. Write a little note from our company how professionally. So every time you go, ready to lift. I got to be careful because I'm not 100% 90 degrees, so it's going to want to swing. So I'll start off by extending out. The 
and let's pick up on the front on the front which is the white cable drop the blue pick up on the white and extend out I'll drop the blue extend out I got plenty of traffic control which is rare for these jobs luckily it's all the construction team for this area they're good hope no backup joke too crooked might have to correct actually right on the money you're better than I thought Joe adjust the price slightly that's but that's fine understand. man no worries i'll be right back i'm gonna pull my car right now hey that guy the one that was originally mean he wants a business car now he's all happy cool. that guy that was uh, originally mean he's cool now yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. see look at him and you guys get down bro i'll be right back right yeah. hey anyone can buy a rotator <laughs> but we operate it yeah that's nice that's I'm gonna get it. We're going 13 miles now. It's not around the block, so I'm gonna. Thank God I four points yeah. tightened on the front. You know why? I don't fuck around with torrents. Those dudes, if they don't see your shit tight, are you getting a ticket? If you don't have your safety chains on tow, they pull your ass over. As they should. Albert. Albert. Yeah. Make sure it's lined up. That's good right there. That's good. That's good. All right, now let's check the front. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave everything on here, dude, because this is the first thing we're gonna take off. Okay, let me down a bit. Oh, what a great, great job. Executed perfectly. I'm gonna put the camera away for now, but uh, we're going 13 miles away now. So I'm gonna adjust the price for the guy slightly. And I'll get the offer process at the new place. <laughs> 